Hello, my name is John F. Crime, and I'm professor and chair of the Department of Anatomy and Neuroscience. And I'm also the vice president for research and innovation here at University College Cork in Cork, in the very south of Ireland. Walk on air against your better judgment. These are the words that are on the gravestone of the Irish Nobel Prize winner, Seamus Heaney. And in a way, that's what I want you to think about, how we can do things against our better judgment. Now, in Ireland, research funding really only began properly in the early 2000s with the setting up of our funding agency, Science Foundation Ireland. And I'm telling you this because I did my PhD here in Ireland in the decade before that. Um, and this is in the, in the mid 1990s at what was then University College Galway. And everything was done on a shoestring. Uh, today, we could make a whole sustainability story about it. But at that time, it was just the way of life. Uh, scrimping and saving, upcycling and retrofitting, if you want. Um, you know, for example, we recycled the aluminum foil that we kept our brains in, in the freezer. We cleaned our own animal cages. And then there was that time when someone had the bright idea of why don't we trial uh, using the shredded paper instead of sawdust in the animals' cages. You can just imagine the smell and the grit and all that came with that when we had to come and clean those cages. But that was the, that was the time I was in and they were my formative training years. So then when I moved to very well-funded labs uh, in the US for my postdocs, I was kind of like, like a kid in the candy store. And to be honest, it was hard for me to focus. At Penn, I got to collaborate with some amazing scientists, uh, learning many new techniques. And sometimes, much to my PI's somewhat annoyance, I could get distracted uh, from my main project. And um, as a behavioral neuroscientist, I really wanted to expand the repertoire of techniques that I could do. And I wanted to learn some more molecular techniques, many of which I was never very good at, but it was just to, to be able to say that I could go for lunch and have a gel running was something that, that, that I really wanted to, to get. Um, but my PI, he wanted me to focus. And this led to some, well, shall I say, interesting exchanges. And at the time I felt that I could, that I really could do it all. Um, and this blind now exuberance was being somewhat chastened uh, by the very experienced and well-intentioned PI. When the time come for me to set up my own lab, uh, first in Switzerland and then back in Ireland here at University College Cork, uh, a very different Ireland uh, with, well, with a lot of funding now, um, I somehow forgot how unfocused I had been during my own postdoc days. And I tried to mentor my trainees like my PI mentored me. And so part of my job was therefore to steer or to focus people. And um, perhaps this is one of the biggest failures really of my early career was trying to orient people too much and forgetting what I was like myself like that kid in the candy store. One important story was when a grad student who was working on a rat model of early life stress, um, she was exploring how all aspects of physiology and behavior were altered by this uh, early life trauma in, in the rat. She found that uh, the immune system was completely dysregulated, both in the peripheral immune system and in the brain. We also looked in the gut itself and found that the uh, um, gut barrier integrity was, was dysfunctional. In the brain, there were changes in a variety of genes involved in neuroplasticity and in pain process. We found at the behavior level changes in anxiety, in stress related behaviors, and in pain, especially abdominal pain related behaviors. And it was becoming a, you know, a huge project because it was a lot of different changes and very hard to knuckle down. And I was trying to encourage her to be more focused and to tr really try um, and, and, and drill into some of the mechanisms at play underpinning some of these key findings. Um, 
And, uh, but she, uh, you know, was, was very excited about it and didn't mind that the project was getting diffuse. Uh, and then she announced that she wanted to play with people down the hallway who were focusing on the microbiome. Um, and this was 2007. So this was long before the microbiome has uh, become more mainstream in terms of uh, our understanding of gut brain signaling. And I was quite skeptical that this was the right approach for her at that time. And I reminded her, focus, you need to focus. Anyway, she ignored me as I would have ignored myself in, in, in the decades earlier. And there was a case then of poo smuggling that occurred. So she took the poo from the animals that we had in the lab and she went down the hallway to the microbiologist and started looking at the microbiome composition in these animals. So really shit really happened. In this case, it is literal. Uh, and uh, it, it turned out to be one of the most fascinating experiments that we've ever done. What she, she was able to show was that there was a signature of early life trauma that was there in the, in, in the microbiome. This was published in a high impact journal and it really accelerated our entire research program. The grad student is now on faculty here, Siobhan O'Mahony. And you know, my failure to recognize um, myself and my own traits uh, in this enthusiastic grad student, you know, almost prevented us from pivoting to this important area of research uh, that has really informed my own career. So what I've learned is that mentorship is, well, it's tough and trying to get focus is important both for the trainee and for the PI. However, it is also important to let people have the latitude that I myself craved as a trainee when I was allowed to explore uh, things. And so now my lab is, is a place for people to come from far flung places from all over the world, from places where they still recycle aluminum foil that they use to collect brains and store them. Uh, uh, but as well as that from very well um, funded labs in, 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 in the US and Canada and throughout Europe as well. And I have to continuously remind them to walk on air against your PI's better judgment at times and try and re to mend uh, the failures that I have had in the past. Yes, there will be, this will lead to future failures and I think uh, some poo smuggling still goes on uh, in the labs when people are doing experiments uh, without me explicitly knowing everything that's going on. And that's exciting and that's why we do science. And I, I am reminded of the words of another Irish novelist, uh, Samuel Beckett, who said, ever tried, ever fail, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better. And so that has become kind of the mantra of our own failures. And therefore we hope that we can uh, inspire the next generation to realize that sometimes you need to reflect on what you were like as a trainee and make sure that you keep that uh, level of insubordination and uh, going throughout your career.